Welcome into the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the women's volleyball team, indoor and beach volleyball head coach. But we're talking indoor volleyball uh, now. So when, uh, on Tuesday, you guys host St. Mary's and have a really good result on senior night. Yep, senior night, you just don't know what's going to happen. Um, the a lot of distractions, and I didn't like to really do it against a team of St. Mary's quality. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just seemed very calm. Mm -hmm. Our passing was re – we were really calm, and uh, – it's a bad omen when you go out and beat them the first set handily because you know the other teams are you know, you're like, well, that was embarrassing. We're going to – and that's exactly you. what they did. And we won both sets, set, set two and three by two points. Uh, so it was great on senior night to win in 3 nothing, mm -hmm. And um, that would have really hurt us if we would have lost. And uh, so that was a nice win for us. And credit to the seniors. I mean, they've been here for four years. Mm -hmm. They know what it's like to win and – you know, playing those tough types of matches, and they rose to the occasion. Yeah, night. yeah, and all four seniors really played well that night. You know, Jackie Zeppa hit 280, um, and um, Kelsey Stave, you know, nice good blocking, mm -hmm. had some great swings in the middle. Kristen Brooks probably had one of her best nights of her career. She hit 480 and had 13 kills on only 25 swings, and Sarah had her, you know, very, she's very consistent, mm -hmm. had, a, had a great night as well. So all four seniors really played well, and they played in all three sets. Yeah. We love seeing that red hair come out on the court and get onto the right <laughs> side and throw down those big swings. Well, you know, like I said at senior night, Jackie is the only player that actually has her own personal cheer, which is a direct <laughs> reflection on the kind of a person that Jackie is and yeah. how much the team loves her. And the quality personalities across the board mm -hmm. on that team, it's its great to see them and the camaraderie they have with each other is wonderful. Yeah, and for for you to play four years mm -hmm. of a college sport, it's tough. It is. You know, it's, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice, a lot of fun, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it was great to see them perform that way. And a really competitive four years. And now, speaking of that competitiveness, you guys go to Lebanon Valley and uh, play them in a really tough match. Right. Now, we came in, Lebanon Valley's 5-0. and We're 6-0. Mm -hmm. and So, essentially, if Lebanon Valley wins out, they beat us and, Ma and Messiah, they win. Right. So, we get down 2-1. to one. We come out in the first set. And doggone if we didn't beat them pretty good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> again. Yeah. And then they beat us pretty good on the second set. Mm -hmm. Third set, 23-23, the kind of sets we usually win. Didn't do it. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they were able to get themselves together and jump on them quickly in that fourth set. And then midway through that fourth set, Kristen Brooks gets her 1,000th kill. So the managers were counting, okay. you know. So and they were, and so there was a little celebration on the court for her, and I think that even picked us up a mm -hmm. little bit. And we end up winning like twenty-five to ten, and that momentum carried right onto the fifth set, you know. And you know, Gary Stewart, our head men's basketball coach, said to me, you know, he said that was amazing that your girls could do that. He goes, they not only had a forty-one match winning streak on the line, mm -hmm. they had playing for the for be able to host the um, MAC Conference Championship if we win in the semifinals, mm -hmm. and um, on their court. Right. And yeah. we, were on, we were on their court. So it was, you know, a real um, testimony mm -hmm. to the belief that they have collectively as a team that they can win. And that home court advantage that you've had for the last four years, you know, or is it five years now? Five now. Five now. Uh, has been so vital, and this year has been really vital when we get those home games and the men's ice hockey team shows up and everybody's there cheering you on, and yeah. it, it does set a tone for what's happening on the court. Yeah, and we can stay right at home mm -hmm. if we can win on that Wednesday mm -hmm. in the MAC Conference semifinals. We we'll play the fourth, fifth play-in game, mm -hmm. uh, and then if we can win that, we'll be home on that Saturday at 5 o'clock right after the football game, which is just like last year. Yep. We got a huge crowd, had a, you know close to 1,000 people. Messiah travels well, and they, they mm -hmm. had a lot of people here last year, and we don't know whether it's going to be Messiah, Lebanon, Valley because that, they'll probably be second and third. Right, and th that match could also go – very tight the way your guys' match with Lebanon Valley did on Wednesday. Oh, absolutely. Messiah is an, uh, a really competitive opponent, and Lebanon Valley, as their coach, they play, played their best match of the year. Well, mm -hmm. we typically get everybody's best shot yeah. <laughs> yeah. because they know they're going to have to play well against us, and uh, Lebanon <laughs> Valley played incredible defense, and that, w that was the difference. That and the 17 service errors that we made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so. that's, that's a tough thing to overcome, and we typically don't see that on, on the stat sheet from uh, – 
No, we, we, we don't, but then, you know, our philosophy of serving tough to try to get them out of their system mm-hmm. uh, and be able to, to get a ball back when we serve it, of one that we can transition into our offense, and you've got to serve tough, and some nights you just don't serve well, and it's kind of um, – it's contagious, mm-hmm. you know, and we're, we're trying – you know, and that night just didn't have – the serving wasn't good. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but thankfully we covered it up with some other things. And the way the schedule has been working out, you guys had three weekends off. In to, October. In yeah. October mm-hmm. of all months, too. Right. Um, how does that set you up in, in ways of preparation for not only the next match coming up, but being able to work on things for the MAC conference uh, mm-hmm. tournament coming up in, in next week? Well, Joe, I really felt like the first seven weeks were grueling. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were gone every weekend. And we were home a cu- We were home one or two, but um, and we're going six days a week. Mm-hmm. Um, so the first break, we really needed it, and they came back. They're refreshed, mm-hmm. you know. And now the second break is homecoming weekend. We've never been home on homecoming weekend, so I really think they appreciated that. So we're mm-hmm. going to see tonight. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, so we're you know we play, play Tuesday against Alvernia, then we have a huge match against Hopkins, who right now is uh, fifth in the region. We're ninth, so that could be a huge Very. match for us. And then on Saturday we'll practice. And so we'll have Saturday, Monday, Tuesday to prepare for the MAC semifinal. So I think uh, we're going to be refreshed, which is mm-hmm. the whole idea, and ready to do battle. And uh, after some days off, catch up on some sleep, catch up on some schoolwork, we're going to be more than ready to defend our championship. And with defending that championship, you guys also not lost a match in the MAC Com- Commonwealth Conference. That's correct. Yeah. So if we can so, win against Alberni on Tuesday, we will not lost a match. I don't like to even say it out loud. Right. <laughs> we'll, it, we'll we'll just shy away from that. We'll, yeah. We'll keep that, I, we just keep go, that under. Yeah. You know, I really do believe that we, if we execute and we do what we're supposed, what and, you know, and the team chemistry, um, how well we play, how hard we play, the winning takes care of itself. Mm-hmm. We don't really talk about winning a whole lot. Right. Uh, if we do the right things, the winning will take care of itself. And the difference maker is that the team believes they can win any time they walk out on the court, even if they're playing each other or, you know, well, whatever the opponent. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it is competitive, and uh, not too many girls can um, tease and uh, get on each other and practice mm-hmm. like our girls without hurting the other person's feelings. Right. You know, when Mariah will back, block Annika or Lauren, they like to block Annika. Oh, yeah. You know, and Lauren Weaver will block Annika because those are the right sides, you know, and mm-hmm. they let her know about it. You know, yeah. and then when they yeah. hit and then Annika blocks them, it just makes them better. It does. You know, it just makes them better. And so it's it's very interesting to watch that dynamic in practice, which pushes each other to be a better volleyball player. Well, uh, on a final note, congratulations to Kristen Brooks on her 1,000th career yeah. kill. Uh, couldn't have come at a better time also. Um, and, Coach, good luck with the rest of the conference uh, calendar, the rest of the season, and into the conference well, tournament. Uh, hopefully up. we'll be talking next week. We, we have to. It's a, it's a regular thing on Mondays. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we have to talk. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's Dave Trombo. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner. <laughs>